What's up guys? So I found a brake kit that I haven't reviewed yet. I've got a car that needs brakes. So we're gonna be reviewing that kit on the 07 today. So let's get to it. So this is my 2007 Grand Prix GT Supercharged. And I have had the F body brakes on the front of this since pretty much right after I got it. But I'm on my second set of warped rotors now. And it's a heavy car. I am pretty hard on my brakes, so it makes sense. These are a little small. It needs something bigger. We need something better. So I took the opportunity to try something else out. Let me show you what I've got and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So this is one of the newer kits that ZZP sells. This is their sort of almost the highest, second to highest brake kit that they sell. This kit includes Grand Prix GXP front rotors. These are just stock GXP front rotors. Cadillac ATS Brembo calipers, as you can see right here. And this is how they normally come is this sort of weird purpley gray color and hardware for the brake pads. It does come with new banjo bolts because you can't use the factory ones. It comes with pads for the caliper. It comes with these shims which space the caliper out to make them fit over the rotor perfectly and it comes with optional longer stainless steel brake hoses this is a set for the entire car for right now we're only going to use the front because i'm only messing with the fronts right now we'll probably put the rears on when we do rear brakes later on but this is the kit looks pretty cool uh the only issue that i see right away that's going to be slightly annoying and if you've been on the forums and stuff you've probably heard of this already but this is the pad for that caliper if you look at this rotor this is the normal swept area of this rotor and then there's an indention right here where it kind of tapers down this pad is bigger than the swept area of the rotor is so even if it's spaced out perfectly even if it sits exactly where it has to sit it's going to overlap that little thing right there let me see if i can show you right there it's going to overlap that which is going to cause it to have a lip at the bottom that's not going to wear just barely it's just a couple millimeters maybe on the very bottom so you could grind that off i'm not going to i'm going to see how it does as is we'll see where this kit puts the pad on the rotor anyway as we go along but that's what we've got to work with it looks like a pretty nice kit it is super overkill for a daily driver like this car but that's pretty much how i like things so let's get to taking some stuff apart we'll see what we can do with this and i'll show you how the fitment works and all that okay so the first thing we're going to do to do this swap is we're going to remove the brakes that are on here now since i'm going to be swapping hydraulics over i don't want too much air to get into this system so what i'm going to do is unbolt the calipers that's uh, 15 millimeter bolts and i'm going to take this caliper and just kind of tuck it back out of the way instead of taking it all the way off because i don't want to swap that hose or anything until i'm ready to go with the new stuff that way i can do it really fast and keep from losing too much fluid so now we're going to take this rotor off and we'll take this over to the bench i'll show you guys the difference between the rotors so here we've got the F-body caliper, I mean the F-body rotors versus the GXP rotors. One difference here is in diameter. If you look here, the GXP rotors are a little bigger. It's not hugely bigger, but they are bigger. Uh, they're about the same thickness, but these come factory cross-drilled and they have directional vanes for helping to move air through the caliper. So there are a few benefits to the GXPs over those. And then of course the biggest one is these big hefty four piston calipers. These have two pistons on each side that oppose each other on a fixed caliper. You're gonna get a lot more clamping force here than you will with the old F body two piston calipers. So let's get back down to the car now and we'll swap some of this on. Okay, so there's the GXP rotor on the hub no surprises there that this fits perfectly because this is a gxp rotor it's made to fit this body style grand prix anyway the next thing though is 
where the caliper brackets or where the caliper itself bolts and how centered it's going to be this is a fixed caliper it does not slide so when it's on here it needs to be as close as possible to dead in the middle of the rotor ZZP supplies these shims that are supposed to do that I ran into an issue with that on the other side but we're going to double check them right now so I'm going to put this shim in here and it is made cut out to fit right in here then we're going to mount this caliper and we're going to look at the clearance on each side and see what it looks like so here we've run into the same problem again I have the shim in I have the bolts tightened and if you look right here I've got a gap on this face of the rotor but it is touching on that side and it's doing basically the same thing on the top not quite as bad but it is touching so I'm gonna pull this shim back out and recheck it with the shim not in there so this is with the gap I mean with the uh, spacer not there and look now there's a little gap on all four sides so I don't know why that is ZZP says you need that to center the caliper but on both sides in my experience now that has not worked so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use it just as is, and we'll finish putting this together and see how everything works. Next part is the pad. Okay, now that I'm happy with caliper placement, we're going to put pads in. With these pads, uh, they are super easy to put on, and you do not need to remove the caliper to put them on. I am going to lube the side of the pad a little bit because they need to be able to slide a little bit in here. So I'm just going to do that right here and then we're going to these the little loops go up you slide the pad in on either side of the rotor like this then you take your top pin one of, just they're both the same but just one of these and you're going to put it through the hole there and through the hole here until it lines up with the hole on the other side of the caliper right here then you just take a small hammer or something and tap that in that holds that into the pads in place then you're going to take this spring flip it upside down of where it looks like it should go and stick it under that then it's going to flex against the pads themselves and you're going to start the other pin down here the pin goes on top of the spring on this side through the other pad and then you just once again line it up with the hole on the other side and tap it in just till it's completely flush and that is it that's all there is to adding pads to this so we got our pads we got our calipers we got our rotors next thing we have to do because you do need a slightly longer brake hose is we're going to switch this brake hose out with the stainless steel one that we've got up top so we've got our longer stainless steel line. The ones that are longer and have the curve here are for the front. So we're gonna take it where it curves away from the caliper and start this banjo bolt. What I like to do is go ahead and have this end ready and tightened on. And then when we unhook the side from the car, we can just swap it straight over to, uh, to this one as fast as we can. And that will keep us from losing so much fluid. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is we're just going to tighten that and because these are round you see it doesn't there's nothing to hold it still so you kind of have to hold it with one hand and tighten with the other but you want it good and snug to make sure that it you don't want to go too crazy because you don't want to break it off but you do want it decently tight enough that it's not going to allow this to move and it's going to crush those washers. So now that we've got that done, all we got to do is get this old caliper and hose off and get this new one in there. So we're going to start off there by, this is a 13 millimeter line wrench. We're going to just make sure this breaks loose, which it looks like it may not do very easily. So that's always fun. Let's see here. This bracket sometimes will try to bend instead of holding the line. So there we go. All right, just break it loose. Don't tight, don't loosen it yet. Then, now that I know it will move, we're just going to take 
a screwdriver and probably a combination of that and some needle nose pliers and take this little clip out of the bottom just like this hopefully i'm not going to get in you guys way too much and you'll be able to see what i'm doing but basically i'm just wiggling this towards the outside and once i move it a little bit you can normally get a flathead screwdriver in here in between them and pry it some more off Just like that then now we can go ahead and loosen that a little bit more and you're gonna start losing fluid here so you may want to have something under here ready to catch it if you're fast it won't be too big of a mess but it's gonna lose some fluid no matter what you do so make sure your master cylinder is also topped off before doing this because you, what you don't want to do is run it too low and get air in it. Okay, so now we'll pull that hose out, pull this caliper out of the way. Take our new hose, stick it through here, and go ahead and just start the metal line in here, which should be pretty easy. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not, but if you snug it up, it'll stop leaking, at least for the most part. Then just push down on this hose to keep it tight to the bracket and slide your little clip back on. That will hold it, but there are no flats in this. So when you go to tighten the metal, the metal line on, you will need an adjustable wrench to hold the metal line by and then you can take and tighten this metal line the rest of the way up and that you just want to be good and snug so that it doesn't leak just like that now when this is turned back this should be completely out of the way. So that should take care of it. You can reposition the line if you want to by just grabbing the top of it with this and you can just twist it however you need to. But that should be it. The only thing left to do now is we're gonna bleed it and you'll notice this does have bleeder screws on both sides of the caliper. So you'll need to bleed both of them on each side and be prepared to lose a decent amount of fluid. These are big calipers. It's gonna take a bit to fill those up. So we're gonna do that, finish getting it together, then we'll take it for a test drive, break it in, and I'll let you know what we think of these. And now we're putting the wheel back on, and by the way, that looks amazing, but look at the clearance. That is way tight. It's not touching as best I can tell, but it is very, very close to touching. So just be aware, these calipers are big and a lot of wheels will not clear them at all. These are 18s and they're, I mean, we're fine diameter wise. We got plenty of room around the wheel, but just where they sit so far forward, uh, I'm probably gonna get a small spacer, just to, I mean, just a tiny spacer, just to give this a little bit of room, but I'm gonna try it like it is and see and if it doesn't rub, I may run it that way for a little while, but for sure that is less clearance than I would want. Okay, so after a short test drive, what I'll say about this is uh, pretty much overall good. It felt really good, it stopped really well. The pedal had a little bit more travel than the F-Body setup. But once it, once it traveled just a little tiny bit, it was rock solid. So it definitely felt good. It has a good pedal. It stops well, nice and smooth. Really happy with it overall. So the only other thing I will say there is left to do is let's show you some B-roll of what these things look like.
And that is it for me. I will see you guys in the next video. Drop this video a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of these or if there's anything else you want me to try out and review. And uh, make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and peace. <laughs>